think it's a uh, if you if you describe it to someone who doesn't know anything about it team that match <laughs> so we have like airships and uh, they they are fighting against each other in a like huge battle and uh, of course we have like many ships it's not just one one on one but we have like many like five five on five or two on two and and also one idea that's very important for us is that one person is like just part of the crew of the ship so he's not controlling the whole ship or if he is is he's going to have a really long like hard time to control this and the whole game has been designed to to involve hardcore teamwork so if if you want to success in the game you need to coordinate the actions with your teammates and you are kind of a ship crew you can see everybody what they are doing and uh, you can hear basically what they are doing, loading cannons, uh, lighting cannons. Uh, the captain is uh, on the end of the sort of battleship or in a small ship, he's also in the end of the ship so he can sort of see the whole thing, the scenery, you can see down, you can see upwards, you can see all the other players on the deck and, and this is the way how you control uh, each other basically. So you need to work in team in order to be really efficient. So one can be the captain and, and try to be the expert captain and the other one can be the magnificent defender with the musket and blocking almost every every incoming shot there is. And so it, it should be a game for different styles of gamer profiles. Gameplay it's very slow paced at certain points of the game, like the like the ships, they are pretty slow moving. They are not like like fighters that that zoom across the sky, but they're very slow moving, and that's that's kind of purposeful thing because we want to have a game where where you have time to think, time to prepare, time to kind of coordinate your tactics with your shipmates, but when the contact is made and you you are getting to the blasting range then it's a kind of couple of minutes of really hectic action well of course we have changed the engine like te technically wise that's the like the biggest change so like before we used the unreal engine of course which we which we love of course like we have used it so many times and we love it but in this in this case we like wonder that if there's some other engine which would suit our purposes even better and we, we had some experience with the Unity engine and that's like we just tried some technical demos and then we continued building and <laughs> noticed at some point that hey this might actually work with this engine yeah well the Vikings are definitely one thing that uh, we brought we felt a little bit like um, earlier we had Buccaneers and peasants I mean Everybody wanted to be Pakanir. <laughs> Peasants are a little bit uh, sort of boring as a as a race, <laughs> just so to speak. Uh, so we wanted more that we would have um, equal warrior races. We try to fine tune and tweak the experience in a way that it's much much more smooth. And of course, we try to kind of lower the entry level because. The old version was pretty hardcore for, for newbie players and, and it was not really forgiving. <laughs> and we, we tried to do those things, but, but the, I would say that the heart of the game is still the same. We have interesting features on the, on the design port. And so the game will evolve and, and mainly we are kind of talking with the fan community and asking them that what, what they would like to see in the game and we try to implement at least the coolest features that, that are proposed and so there.